<laughs> Talbot's gonna have the the video production so smooth. Yeah. It's gonna be like a shiny, polished piece of glass. Talbot's gonna have. Oh, there she is. The video production. And I like how there's two butts smooth. right over on my it's left shoulder. Shiny, polished piece. Of <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I silenced you. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I got a lot of, got a lot of stuff. I got a Kyla over you here do. too. I'm trying to like read comments because my, oh. my computer is not working. Oh no. I mean it will someday. All right, we're gonna jump right on in, jump into the ocean. Woo! The water's fine. Um, you're gonna watch me pull together both ideas that we have going. So we have the wave idea and then we have the underwater idea. Um, and I'm gonna see if I can merge them into one. I did a little sketch and I was thinking about shooting Talbot a few photos and saying, Photoshop these together for me. But they're, it's kind of an impossible view that you wouldn't have, but it solves the dilemma for me of delivering both, both ideas and it's art. So we can do whatever we want, right? Um, so hopefully you guys either have your, sorry Talbot, little, little plastic bag. <laughs> Gotta be gentle. Um, your fiber fairy supplies or the sea booty, which is a lot like the fiber fairy, and or the mermaid boodle. Um, and I'm gonna be using these and some extras that I have, any yarn, silk bits, um, locks, neps, anything to add texture. That's what wet felting is all about. And, um, and I'm also going to use Imprimatura. I used flat mat on both of these totally, you know, totally good. But I figured if I'm putting all this time into it and, um, I just want to try something different and to kill, kill two birds with one stone by showing using Imprimatura as well. What the reason that one might prefer that is because flat mat does, you know, being off white, I'm gonna see, hold it up and see if you guys can see. Does, um, some, some of the, the fiber, fiber does, does come, come through, through the, the darks. darks. So, so you're, you're gonna, gonna get, get a little, a little bit, bit of pollution, pollution to, your, to, your, to, your to your ocean, ocean. <laughs> to your <laughs> darks. darks. Um, yeah. yeah, that's, that's it. it. What, what, what's, what's happening? happening? I, I, I'm, I'm just, just getting on YouTube now. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not helpful. Okay. okay. People, People are, are saying, saying hi. hi. Good. Good. So, so I have, I have, um, um, I have uh, uh, fresco, fresco and chiaroscuro, and, and uh, these I picked because one's, one's dark and one's light, light. And, and also because there, there were extras, extras on, on the shelves that, that were up, up here, here and I didn't, I didn't have to go, go anywhere else, else to get, get them. them. So, so these echoes, echoes, or the noodles, noodles marino, marino, that's a question. They're like getting echoes? Yes. That's what, what are you hearing? Cool echo. Oh, okay, I fixed it. Oh, okay, Talbot fixed it. Oh, okay. We should be good now. Apologize. <laughs> oh, when you change cameras. Um, okay. What is the question? Are, are who to what? Merino's. You are said the there Marino's was a question. noodles? Are the noodles Merino? Noodles. I don't know. It said noodles. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll uncover things as we go. Um, I have my wet felting um, kit under here and... What? No. Someone's not just they said it sounded like we were under the water. Oh. That was intentional. We, we did mean to do that. Um, <laughs> I have the new wet felting kit set up, which I will take this opportunity to show you. It's not that complicated. I think you would be able to figure it out. Um, your noodles will have a cut end and a not cut end. Actually, there will be some with two cut ends. Mm -hmm. And this saves on waste because now we are not, you know, every pool noodle goes into a wet felting kit. So this is your connector and you just put half of it in there and then half of it in there and it works really well. And I like now it has like a little extra weight 
so it feels like a little more substantial in there. Okay, if whether or not you are using um, Imprimatura or flat mat, you're going to need to tease up your prefill a little bit. The, the Imprimatura less so. I might actually see if I can flake this. And then I'll have a flake of dark to use. And things. So my piece is going to be vertical because I'm getting underwater here and then um, about here, I guess the wave will come up and the crest will be up here. And so all of this is gonna be lightness. I'm gonna take that away. And then I want to put in this one. So this is a fun project because what is the mermaid boodle merino? It was an autocorrect. Oh, oh. <laughs> the mermaid boodle has a lot of merino. It does have core because we wrap the mermaid um, tail in core. So this is a fun project because you can be very free form with it. And that's, you know, that's the way the water is. I wish I could say, I had more experience with the water, <laughs> but I don't. So I'm just piecing together a little scene here and teasing up my. That's nice and big. Yeah, that's huge. <laughs> it's all right, we can do it. We can do it. Let me look at my drawing so that I could show you my drawing, but it doesn't really show up very well with all this light. Um, I have a wave and I made some notes about um, where the crest is and where darkness is and light, etc. So in the Fiber Fairy, I'm going to open up my, we gave away the, um, the tiers. The first tier was, let's see, we had your values of natural, dark, and current. We're using current as a mid value. Um, and I guess from oil painting, maybe I, I heart, I'm always trying to mix colors together, get different things speaking to each other. So I picked current because it's a little bit, it's complementary to all of the aqua and green that will be going on. Um, and then you have darks. Ooh, I might, might pass you hand carters and get you to mix some things. Oh my. <laughs> and then we had some brights and I'm going to use my, um, mermaid boodle too, because there were even different colors in there. Mm. Ooh, the mermaid boodle had aqua. That's convenient. <laughs> it has, um, Irish fur, nets, sage silk, don't need the core, olive, and bay, no, one is bay, water, teal. I think that the fiber fairy did not have teal. I feel kind of like I just want to hang out and chat because last time we were live, I got to do that and I really, <laughs> and I really liked it. 
<laughs> now you have to work. I don't want to lead the show. All right, I do. I'm excited too. But that was fun. So if you're working along, you have flat mat out and you've teased it all up and you're, you've thought about your, thought about your plan. On the underwater one, my plan was sort of, this was like sort of coral reef, but it was in shadow. And then there was reef in shadow back here. And then we had the light coming through the water and then everything that lives on the coral was getting like lit up by the light um, coming through the water just on the edge. And this, this reef was in distance. So I know it doesn't show up super well, but I like toned this one down so that hopefully it looked farther back in the water. But just like everything else, this is a learning process and water is its own, it's like, it's like painting ballet or painting clouds or like every, every subject, there's so much to learn about it. So we're just gonna play with this together. I'm not. The fiber fairy did have teal. It had teal wood and coffee. Okay. It also had bay. Oh, so what's that? Cobalt. Bay water and chlorophyll. Cobalt is the one. Oh, okay. Okay. So I'm gonna smush my two paintings together. And one of the things that I learned from looking, observing a lot of um, wave images is that is sort of like the structure of what happens. So the, there's the crest, obviously, which is all fun and light. And then there's like a reflection in the part that's swooping up. And it's, I think it's um, the sun you know, getting to that thinner part of the water. And then as it comes down, it's dark. And then right where the wave is turning in the distance is kind of a darker spot. So that's what I'm thinking about as I'm laying this out. This in Prematura is thicker than flat mat. So I'm going a little thinner on the, on the white here, which you guys can't even see yet. <laughs> Here, I'll pull it down. There we go. Oh, it already looks like something. It does. I should be more enthusiastic about using the hand carters and helping you. <laughs> you think? <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to put my mid-tone, like I said, to define that where that swoop is, just so that we start to see, I wanna to start to see the composition here. I'm being a little bit particular about that, but the rest of it, I'm gonna be willy-nilly about. Um, they're asking, could all white flat mat be used if the lower area that's now dark had a base layer, like the coffee? Right, dark. that's why you get the, the three values, because you are going to cover flat mat not thickly, just with a layer of values where you need dark, light, and medium in your painting. Um, we do that in, in all of our wet felting. Um, well, and people may not want to do the combo, plus their piece probably wouldn't be, well, if they had a full-size flat mat, I guess their piece would be pretty large. Flat mat's huge. Yeah. You want to cut it to the size that you want. But you may just want to do the wave, or you may just want to do the underwater seen right yeah this is a bit of a demo because i do i'm not sharing a specific reference picture with you and i am really winging it here but like i said um flat mat does come through even when you put a dark layer it can come through a little bit So you're working on the wave part and kind of building the shape of the swoop already. Yeah. The swoop. The swoosh. swoop. What's the word? Swoop. That's 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 the right word. Swoop. It's the <laughs> proper ocean term. 
So this will just be kind of like in the distance, like foamy other wave, <laughs> distant wave. All right, on this, I don't even really need to put um, dark, but I will just so you can see the... How many of these did you do for prep on this demo? I did the two. I did the two, just the two that we showed. Okay, so in this idea, I'm gonna have that kind of dark coral edge, and then I'm gonna have some light will be started it will hit the wave and also be coming through the water and light up um, what's on the edge of the coral reef here so that's what i'm thinking that's what i'm thinking about and this is a great like lesson in being irregular it can be very hard to be irregular it can be very hard to be irregular some of us know <laughs> more than others. All right, I'm gonna give you a color. Excellent. I'm very excited yeah. to successfully use the hand carters. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have Kyla card a dark water color using this one. Wood. <laughs> this one. Sure. And coffee. This one, this one. Wood, teal, and coffee. The and wood being green confuses me. I know. Wood is brown. It needs an S on the end. Woods, yes. Get ready for the magic. <laughs> Trish said, I'm usually a regular. She should get her daily fiber we for all, that. We all are. <laughs> I have sons. All humor heads that direction. So I'm just going to, using this, um, I'm going to indicate where the light's hitting my coral reef for you guys to see. <laughs> you make this look easier than maybe it is. Well, or you maybe don't, I you, should do it more often. You don't have the best setup there. We didn't give you the best work setup. Yes, that's the problem. color is that's the current the moth. this is current yeah I came across so, so many incredible pictures you know looking around on the interwebs for that's it All right so I think, I think I've done this okay um, I'll do twice. one little demo I'll do one little demo for you and then you'll be a pro look how nice Kyla got the brush loaded up <laughs> So you start yeah. at, towards the edge and scoop. Oh, okay. And then scoot in a little bit and scoop. And then farther and scoop. All right. All right. I've only watched you do it a lot. All right. All right it's, it's, it's taken me a long, long time, that's for sure. Well, I'm, you know, light is going to be filtering through here. I don't. I'm going to put this here for your, for you guys to start to see. <laughs> it's not really, I don't really want white there. Um, let me do something else because white in your lights, it, it can, it can chalk it out. It can start to um, pollute it. So I will use, oh, I'll use the aqua. That'll be perfect. I'm definitely more successful with the right-handed side. Yeah, there's a, there's one side that's better. Like super awkward the other way. I like looking at what I'm doing in the overhead cam. 
because honestly, I can see it better than this because this is flat to me. Oh, yeah. Do you want Ooh. it blendier than this? No, that's perfect. Okay, so your pre-felt is has a nice layer of your three values on it. Okay, thank you. Do so one that or not? That's so nice. Do another batch. Sure. Is this totally wet felting, and do we have to do two colors for the backing? No, no, you can use one color. You are use, You might be using just white flat mat. That's what the um, three values are for to start to start to tone your whatever background you're using to start to tone it to the right values. So that now when you start putting your good colors on, what's underneath it is going to support the value of that of that color. I'm gonna have a sip of coffee and check the. They should watch me struggle with it later. Which color is my, oh, that was the. <laughs> All right. So I have this um, dark and I actually, I think I want my coral reef to be a bit this is a very ocean color, so I'm going to put it in my wave to the one side because my wave is going to be darkest over here. And I'm taking real thin, like almost like if you just did a wash or a paint stroke and crisscrossing them. Ultimately, the top layer might be a little bit more... Um, Will you make one? Um, well, you can do that. Let me take something out. Um, that's wood and coffee, not the not the blue, <laughs> which is on the bottom. The blue's already in there. <laughs> okay. But I could like pull a lot of this blue out. That's all right. I'm gonna take this dark that I already have, and add some brighter colors. And I'm just going to restack in my hands. The dark blend is um, coffee and wood, wood and the wood is the green. What's the darker blue? I have it. I have the information right here. We're being ding dongs. <laughs> okay. Fur, wood. Wait. Oh, we went wood, coffee. Our. Teal. The darks are teal, wood, and coffee. Okay, so now I have a slightly brighter blue, and I'm going to go up into my wave, and I am going to have to start looking at a reference picture. Can one put on it? Um, just be aware that you know the thicker it is, the more water it takes, the harder it is to felt. So I really would try to keep to your values, and then some colors, and then textures. Like you don't want to get. There's not much point <laughs> to tons and tons of layers. Um, It's just a lot more work. 
So even this, I'm being a little sparse with because I know I'm gonna add more fun stuff and it's gonna, it's gonna fill in. One thing that I thought was really cool that I noticed a lot in the pictures was how this far crest was like a dark color. Well, darker than all the white that's around it. So we just have to be an observer, you know, when we're, what? what's happening? You don't want to know. <laughs> you don't want to know what's happening. For starters, you didn't want too much blue and that's like all that seems to be coming out of here. What I was um, thinking was some coffee and the um, the teal would be, you know, a, put some darkness on this coral reef that's not, not too blue. All right, I gotta find a picture because I'm going astray. All right, I Googled ocean waves, <laughs> Google images. And I had one that I really liked the composition of. Oh my gosh, I must have scrolled. My what? You want your glasses? No. Mm -hmm. I'm all right. Not sure what I have going on for you there. Thanks. I'm going to put some of this. Kyla made. I like a the mess. way there's like a dark edge right under the um right under the crest. There's like a dark edge. And then this is a little bit People want coffee in their new Serafina mug because you keep saying coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. <laughs> okay, like that. And then in here is where you get some really cool reflections. So I want to like, I want to pop that with some brights, some green some sage. Well, I'll put the sage on top because that'll be hard for my, hard to mix. I think we're good on that. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to clean up the mess that I've oh, okay. kind of. I might give you this one while I put that where it needs to go. Or I can do it. I feel like maybe we're neglecting. Showing the blending. <laughs> yeah, I can show the blending. Oh, that's so f nice. If you have 20 minutes, so I can show the blending. <laughs> it's extra blended. I would say that's something that takes practice and the more you do it. Yeah. The better you get. All right, since I have the hand carters, I am going to put the sage right in there. It would be hard to pull with your hands. Leaf would be good in here um, to get some brighter greens. Mm -hmm. So, okay, how many people are working and how many people are just having having coffee <laughs> and hopefully something delicious to eat and hanging out. Someone's interested in a pina colada in their mug. There you go. The beach vibe. I'm super into coconut water lately. It's so good. You taste like you're just drinking like Freshness. pure energy. Yeah. The sage is a silk, correct? 
The sage is a tussa silk, yeah. Ooh, oh my gosh, I love it, okay. So then this is like a reflection in here. We've got two watchers. And then it might like, you gotta start to dance stuff around a little bit. Many watchers, someone taking notes. Justine Heinrichs is, is working. She's always working. <sighs> well, she might be working with you, I'm not sure. Oh, oh, working on her. Someone's working on a raccoon. Ann Gordon is watching very hard. <laughs> I'm going to watch you hard. <laughs> we have a handful working along. Okay. Many watchers. That's looking cool. Is it? Mm-hmm. Let me look in my overhead cam and check it out. Because I... <laughs> Ooh. Talbot started a poll. Ooh. What are you up to? Spectating? Or working? Okay. I need to do another pass of the... The light one. We're so fancy now. Remember back in 2020. <laughs> what, when you were all trying by to, yourself with your phone? Trying to live stream by my lonesome on the lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh Kyla first of all I just like gouged myself with my hand carters um, will you turn the, the temperature get, down you, you get I'm warm. getting warm between the um, lights and the carding and the coffee and being 50 All right, I made a mess out of this one. I don't know what, I got distracted. They were carrying my energy. I punctured my oh, little no. finger. <laughs> All right, what lights. The, what's the yellow that you just added? Um, I added the sage, sage okay. and olive and chlorophyll and um, water and... Okay, that is the light. Now, I want to indicate a spot where the surface of the water be. And we're going to say, like, okay, we're going to say that is like the surface. Wait, no, we're going to go a little higher. So that's all wave. And then this is where it becomes underwater. I want a little more browns in here, so I'm going to take Irish and coffee and olive. Let me tell you what, cutting your thumb with a hand carter oh, is no. like, do you ever stab yourself with the multi pen, with the multi needle tool? Keeps throbbing. I it hurts more because it's like a single needle can go deeper, but it's so, it's like, yeah. but the multi-tool is like a. It bruises you. And it bruises you. you yeah. yeah. Somebody is asking to see the wave one, which we do have set up, Tab, but I don't know if you can like. Yeah, I switched it over. I'll switch it back in like okay. seconds. Yeah, so the. The sea is, the ocean is propped up. Oh, thank you, Talbot. Fur does really cool things in wet felting, kind of like uh, silk does. Our pina colada friend is singing now. <laughs> <laughs> Little mermaid. In 2040, I'll be able to see and hear you guys. That'll be a lot of fun. Just all in one like space. Yeah. yeah. So when I was little, 
we went to Cape May. And um, I'm not, you know, we always talk about beach versus yeah. mountains. Like, I'm not a real beach person, but I did love it when I was little. Mostly because I fry. That's part of the problem. Oh. And also because I, I'm very impatient. I can be somewhere for an hour or two, and then I'm like, okay, got to go do this. <laughs> like, it's unusual for me to, like, totally relax into the element for, like, yeah, hours at day. a time. And, um, but my mom would hold my hand, and I would let the wave hit me, and, like, loved the abandon of like that force just tumbling i felt like i felt like i was like on a journey for like hours you know but of course it was only a few seconds and then but she had my hand so i also knew i was safe so i could enjoy the chaos of it but had this safety grip and um yeah i had a very strong memory okay i just said you know be irregular and then i made too (laughs) normal of a of an edge there. So I'm trying to get my irregularity back. I have distinct memories of waves taking me out and me rolling across the bottom. Yes. And getting all kinds of pummeled. Yes. And almost feeling like I was drowning, which is why I like the ocean mostly from the outside watching it setting up my under my undersea Ooh, okay so now we have all our color i'm gonna like oops okay i can do it and now we get to put fun things see it's not that complicated piece of cake 15 minutes (laughs) but now you just get to have fun so how can I move this down so that I can concentrate on the top and not mess all this up? Um, Wall, maybe? And a roll? Like this? Half a, half of this? Yeah. Yeah? I guess. Look at that. All right. But what's it going to do? It'll be fine. OK. Ooh, ooh, okay. Since I am, well, I think I might have what I need here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Okay, this is the bits bag that came with the fiber fairy. And you will want a pair of fabric scissors. Coffee time. The edge of the hanky makes like an awesome. What's the size of what you're working on? Ow! What? My thumb. That's so sad. I'm sorry. Be a little bit whiny. What's the what what? Uh, the size. It's um, it's more of an internal. (laughs) (laughs) Owie? An internal pain. Um, the size that I'm working on, it's as big as my felting surface so it's gonna be 22 feet by three feet it's huge mm-hmm. it's huge i'm working huge don't work this huge i mean you can work this huge but audrey just said how good the stream looked Ooh, nice audrey or audrey we miss you we're doing okay we're 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 doing all right but you know okay i am getting i want this edge right this Silk hanky edge. <laughs> and I'm going to put it right, the picture I'm looking at that I'm referring to, this edge is like right along this darkness. Super cool. This is so perfect for, for fiber. Just let it do what it does. Like don't, don't over control it. And then I'm gonna put one, I'm gonna air this one out more. So that's the, that's the right term. Floof it. And just get some stuff going on on these edges. This is like the, this is the crashing 
fray part of it. Really interesting how it looks on the feed with the camera overhead and in person. Yeah. It's almost like everyone should have a camera set know, up so they can watch it from a distance. <laughs> like, Oh, that makes me want to hear that song. <laughs> I won't sing it. That's from Beaches, too. I know. Such a good song. Look at these bright colors. These are going to go in our wave reflection. Our sunlit wave reflection. So, white edge, dark shadow, um, fibers coming around. This is where the reflection is. And this is like a chaotic process, and that makes sense. I work kind of that way anyway, but this project really can be that way. Um, so, but I could spend a lot of time blending different colors and I probably should have prepared more colors ahead of time because that is an important and enjoyable step. Um, oh, can I keep moving now? <laughs> Kyla's messing up our stream. Sorry. You should have yelled at me from across the room, Talbot. So this is aqua, <laughs> and I'm gonna put it on here thinly because it's not a solid white, you know, it's got like other things going on. I'm gonna have a little, I'm gonna have a little, little distant blue coming this way. Like there's water kind of at the top of this crest. Let me see if I have any more of my lighter mix. And then maybe some distant blue in here, like there's far away waves. So the aqua really works great to make that like not purpose, totally solid. And then the locks get to be like the fingers and the splash. And so do the neps. I'm going to wait a little bit on the neps because um, I want them to sit on top of some things. And I haven't, I haven't totally built this yet. Beaches was good. Now I want to watch Beaches. Ugh. Oh my really god. Depressing. <laughs> it is actually very good, but I'm gonna put locks in this hole, but I want them to be because that's distant, I want it to be very fuzzy. I don't want it to be um I don't want it to be well defined. And then maybe just a little bit of aqua. Do you want to touch some locks? Sure. <laughs> These are awesome. They're, they're super very soft. white. Yeah, they're very white too, which is not an easy not an easy gig. We picked them out, especially for this. So part of this might splash over a little bit. If you have like super special things, just make sure you find like just the right spot for it. All right, back here, I wanna keep simple. Like you, you don't want your entire composition to be 
kabang you want places for your eyes to rest and for um, more subtle things to happen too much kabang is no kabang so that, exactly exactly you, you're, you're, your mind sort of shuts down and it's like can't can't handle it all but when there's a flow and a place for your eyes to rest you're do you know good. do you know what kind of locks these white ones are i think they're coswold no i just need a little bit i'm gonna do this is the distance so i'm gonna make this more um, ambiguous anything that's in the distance is less precise muted um like blurrier lines and things that you want to come to the forefront are more defined, higher contrast, etc. Right. Ooh, that looks cool. Everyone's petting locks now. <laughs> I should have some nips somewhere. Oh, they're in here they are. All right, I'm gonna, I can't resist, so I'm gonna do a little bit up here, but I wanna save some for for some shebang on. Jan Scott just said you can't appreciate a crescendo if there's no quiet passages yes. in music. Yes, all the yin and yang. One thing cannot exist without the other. Just like Bette Midler and Barbara Hershey. <laughs> in beaches. In beaches. Instead of smell-o-vision, we have feel-o-vision. All right, I'm moving this back up, I hope. I'm, I'm, I'll work on that a little bit more. I just, I like to, I like to evolve. <gasps> I like to evolve um, the painting, like the whole thing at one time. You know what I mean? Like, it, that's important in sculpture too. That's the way we work. work. Piece. Mm -hmm. That's the way we do our needle felting and Okay, now this is interesting. So now I'm in the mid, the mid zone, and I have these amazing cobalt hankies, which I think will be spectacular. We take that and run across the room. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> it's fully prepared to do that. I like I can't. Okay, I want to put this. I'm gonna put this in a swoop. I'm gonna make it into a, a swoop that goes. That's all hanky? Yeah. It's all hanky, man. Hey, hey, that's not you. That's my, my picture. And then I'm gonna let this define some of my lights and darks because within this wave, there'll be lights and darks bouncing around. So I have a dark mix here and I'm gonna just pull a little bit of wool on top of your silk is good. little bit of darkness there. All right, now I want to really like smooth and unify this so that it makes visual sense. And then I have a fur hanky polluted with naps. <laughs> like a fishing net. They're landing in the middle. So of I'm going to use this in my, um, I'm going to put one in my dark water and I'm going to put one in my dark coral reef. 
The naps are landing on your project. That's fine. See them. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. You know what? That one has an F in it. I don't want it. <laughs> oh, brother. Amazing. Amazing stuff. I've lost all track of edges. It's almost like this one didn't have edges. Do you want the edges? Not really. Okay. Not in this case. What's happening? Um, there's a lot of movement. I'm cutting this up. What's that mean? Movement in your piece. Oh. I was like, is everyone leaving? I think they're mesmerized. She said by movement, I mean in the painting, not in the video. <laughs> to which I commented now that I've stopped accidentally kicking the tripod leg. <laughs> There's certainly less movement. All right. So I, I, so pardon me, but I have to switch to my underwater scene. so that I know what I'm going for. Let me find one good one. Well, can't find what I'm looking for, but I'm just gonna make little poofs, a couple of little poofs. And then I'll put a little bit of dark wool on top of that. Cause you just, I just wanna do it while it's in my mind because if I don't, I might forget to make sure it someone gets. Just, someone just asked, will you be adding a bit more wool over the silk? Yes, a well, little wool over your silk is good. Okay, now I'm gonna change, this is where it gets a little weird. From, from here up, I'm gonna pretend like this is water. And then from here down, I'm gonna pretend like this is underwater. Like here we're looking at the water, here we're underwater. Uh, I'm going to try something different. I searched underwater sea, but I'm going to search underwater coral reef. Wow. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like, it's like, did you see Aquaman? All right. Mm -mm. Not a huge fan of the movie, but they created a world underwater, which you never saw because it was constantly swirling, but they created an amazing world underwater. But I'm looking at these images and like just the reality is m mind blowing. And you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's, it's just, uh. so I want to smooth this smooth this out with a nice kind of even um, blue color and then add some light to it and then start like putting all of the all of the fun textures that are going on here <clears throat> so I'm gonna I'm gonna spend a minute just trying to make a more a consistent color. I like the olive. If you had leaf, that would work. Just something to green up the blues a little bit. I 
All right, tell me some things, because this is just going to take me a minute. Well, things. I get a little freaked out by underwater scenes. Why? I mean, I like them, and I like looking at them, but when I think about... How you can't breathe there? I mean, that, (laughs) all the, like, things. I, I went snorkeling, and... Like, I can swim. I didn't feel panicked. Like, I wasn't yeah. going to be okay. But once I started seeing everything, Did I just... you feel exposed? I felt like I wasn't supposed to be there. Yes. And, well, then someone said, look, there's a little shark. I mean, t- teeny tiny. And I, like, just went back to the boat. Like, you're I like, couldn't... You're like, no, no. No. Like, no. <laughs> like, why am I here? I'm not supposed to be here. There's dangerous things. So I am amazed by people that can, like, scuba dive and yeah. go down and, like, stay calm in, in all of that. All right. So this is going to be a quiet area right here with just a little bit of light coming through. Let me see what I did in here. Ooh, what was that? That's really pretty. What think that is. Kyla, what do you think all that is? Isn't that pretty? It's all shiny. Yeah. So what kind of... Uh, maybe like a chlorophyll silk? hanky? Or a kyperina? I don't feel like it's a hanky, though. It's like silk all throughout. I'm going to use what I have here. I'm not going <laughs> to... I'm not going to stress about not having that um, particular silk. Like, what is the really light, soft green silk that you have there? Sage. Yeah, that's definitely, like, lighter. That's okay. It's all right. I said this was a quiet area. It's a quiet area. Now, I'm going to have some sunlight coming in with some sage. I think you have another silk, too. I do? I feel Um, like I should. Underneath the sage, like towards the front. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What's that? Um, saffron. And then the other one. Oh yeah, that one. Oh yeah, that's so pretty. I feel like <gasps> we need this in other places. Yeah, I feel like it's uh, lily of the valley. Okay. Now this can stay in kind of linear form because that's a little bit what it does, but I need to get some of this up here doing something. Such a pretty color. Am I an earth person? I'm guessing I'm not a water person. Sorry, I'm sorry I'm all up in the thing. <laughs> all the creatures that can nip your toes. Exactly. It's terrifying. And then I've got the aqua. I think I'm an earth person. I like the ground too. I don't see appeal in flying. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the ground. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take the aqua. Actually, I'm going to mix the aqua and some sage and some um, saffron for my light spots on top of my water see how this goes it's hard to it's hard to hand mix silk but i'll try it oh that's pretty trisha asked what the orange fabric is which we'll get into those bits when you um yeah there's so little sorry silk ribbon um i've got yarn Put a little saffron in here because I want that warmth, like that sun lit kind of feeling. What's happening? I love to see Sarah's workspace get messier as she works. 
Yeah. The process. A few little reflections in the dark water over here. <laughs> so funny. Water would be better if it was drier. <laughs> No skydiving, no skydiving, but it's definitely on people's li list. Ooh. So, someone's saying very new, new, new to this, aren't all the layers burying previous colors? Um, sometimes you want that, sometimes you don't. So, I'm using such a small amount of fiber, and when I look at 2D, wet felted images that I really like, what I'm seeing is how much work they put into mm. layering because things will always like peek out and that gives you that distance and those and the pow and the far away. And um, so there's a, there's a rhyme and reason to it. It's not just cover up, cover up. Um, each layer has a, like there, there's an intention behind it. So. I mean, we don't see the current anymore. No, the current, the current, the white and the black are meant to establish the value. Mm. But I chose those colors because when they do come through, they will be um, kind of a play in color to the to all the blues and greens. Holly had her private pilot's license for 45 years. Wow, I didn't know that. And Bonnie said if you swim after the shark, it'll swim away. They don't like to be pet. <laughs> Did you do that, Bonnie? <laughs> Just I, think she, I think so. <laughs> picture you underwater like, uh-uh. I tried to do that with a black snake once, and it didn't work. It mm. came right out. It came right out. But that was a snake, not a shark. I like kayaking too. You're on top of the water and separate from it. What I'm doing is I'm looking at my pictures and I'm seeing where, you know, what, how the wave is put together and the transitions between light and dark. Um, let me pull this down so you guys can see where I'm working a little bit better. <clears throat> But like I said, you know, studying the water is its own whole art. <laughs> I didn't realize how many waves, when you look at the cresting wave, the center really goes to green. Like, yeah. Yeah. So I can have a little bit of fun with that now. I have this super bright chartreuse color. Um, I might save that for a subtle pow down here, but let me get a little bit just like pretty subtle right there. Well, nothing subtle about it, but it'll get a little more blended in. And then I'm going to work on this um, becoming a little bit more smooth. So, but let's have fun with it. Like, let's not be, this is cool. I'm just looking through what I have here. A couple of pieces of this, this one's smaller. <clears throat> so this is a piece of sorry silk that's been um, sort of shredded in a way. And I put that along the edge here. Have this silk too which some um you know what's in the in your um bits bag is going to be a little different you know for each mm. like we didn't not everybody got the same you know 20 different things like there was a lot of piles going on but um one of the things that you might find 
is a little bit of silk waste. is cool I'm feeling that definitely in the uh, in the coral and then maybe maybe a little bit just the crest of the wave here I don't know, like have like have fun with it. Don't be don't be afraid to let the fibers interpret. <laughs> um, it's kind of like a collage almost. picture that I'm looking at, the wave picture that I'm looking at, does not have a lot of color in it. Mm, I'm going to save off on that. Okay. What's happening? You're doing a lot of typing. I'm chatting about other Lake Erie people. <laughs> Don't forget to have some fiber over your silk. The silk is pretty strong, so the fiber also helps um, tone it down a little bit. Can the waist ribbons that your kit backs are tied with go into a wet felted piece? Yeah. Yeah, so they're wool. The kits, they're wool. Are any of the kits tied with silk ribbon? Mm, yeah, the rooster. Some of them are, yeah. edge to be dark. Dark, dark, dark. What level do you consider this if someone is new to wet felting? Um, I do. We've done a lot of um, 2D landscape as uh, beginners. Pretty beginner. But it just, you know, if you're investing a ton of time into something, you kind of want to make sure that you you, I mean, you might want to do something smaller first. Just, like you understand the process. And... Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to move into um, coral reef land for a little bit just because I feel like I've got, I've got the, the top sort of figured out and the middle, and now I'm going down here because it's more fun anyway. Because <laughs> this is where you get to put all your yarn and all your silk. Uh, have a lot of fun. And all like different colors, like, you know, you can get orange and go crazy with it. There you go. And, you know, cut up silk can be just little things. You don't have to be specific about what it is. Um, if you crinkle this up and cut it, it kind of ends up looking like a little fish. And then we want a lot of texture in here. And I'm gonna build towards light um, on these, on the edge. So like, let's, for example, we could take Kyprina and Saffron 
and mix them together. I see a lot of things that are, oh, Jennifer sent me, Jennifer's been playing with this and she sent me a picture and she was, you know, she, she really, when she does something, she really goes for it. Yeah. And she did all kinds of cool stuff. I should bring it up and show it. And then take this and it could, it could live just like that. Or you could take it and shape it a little bit. Like more like a, a tendril of some kind. I'm just gonna play and do all kinds of different things so that you guys can see sort of what kinds of things. And then of course there's infinite ones, but um, what kinds of things might work. I'm gonna have three tendrils because that's always a, a decent number. Um. So fun. Okay, I have this yarn. That would make a cool things. Trisha said it's eleven eleven. Eleven eleven. Yep. There. <laughs> yes. The texture of the fiber and of using different fibers is going to indicate um, the randomness way more than like labored, you know, like I've got to make this look like that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. And that's what I, I hope you guys will have, have fun with. Things in Three or five are good. I think I want to take this edge and fan it. Now it might do something completely different when I um, when I wet felt it, but it's twelve twelve for Sue Bingham. <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes will be two twenty two. Mm -hmm. Someone asked if you'd be adding blue at the top for sky or is the top wave? the top is the wave. The wave. punch this has a little punch to it just a little and some pink pink orange Wow, that's vibrant. Yeah. <laughs> the bright green is sorry silk waste, right? Yeah. Silk, sorry silk. Um, sometimes sorry silk is ribbon. Sometimes it's, I have a piece of sorry I'll just show you. Um, and we might start selling sorry remnants. Um, sometimes it's threaded out like this. Sometimes it's just this, mm -hmm. you know, it comes 
all different ways. So I think with this, I want this to poof out like, well, just do it like that. You're mostly using pieces from the bits bag, correct? Yeah, this sorry stuff is some stuff that I have that's extra. There might be a little bit of it in your um, in your bag. Oh, this is the Neps from the Mermaid Boodle. Mm -hmm. That would be really pretty. This is more like watercolor than dry pastels since you're wet felting. Hmm. It's an interesting combination of both, you know. Definitely needle felting 2D is like pastels. This was in my bits bag. Oh, this is how I made the octopus. Uh -huh. Okay, so you take two strands, <laughs> fold it up until you have eight strands. Then tie it in a knot. Sarah's canvas is like a two by three foot. It's quite large. It's pretty she's big. Trying to combine both elements into one. Okay, and then I tie a knot. And that's your octopus. You could put, I had a feather made. I put a feather in here. Like, there's you know, so much potential for texture. That's hard to see there. That's all right. He's living right there. I'm going to do that again, except this time I'm going to do two. And I'm going to tie a knot. If at any point someone feels done, someone's asking if they like it like it is, can they stop? Of course. Like any, yeah. Yeah. Get some like that. What will hold the nips down? A little bit of silk. Or wool. And what are nips, anyway, <laughs> someone says? Nips are actually a waste product from, from fiber. Like the, when you card wool, some of it is a little bit felted and gets mm -hmm. like pilly. And so that's what, that's what comes off. And Gordon has to be a bathing suit on. <laughs> I won't flash it. I'm creating a little bit at a disadvantage here because I can't see my piece. <laughs> and look, I did it. I went to You know what I mean? Like I can't I can't see it. I'm looking at it on the yeah. camera, but Hmm, what else do we want? Oh, I like that one. That's a good, that's a good one. It's got the light, a little more light. Does get a little bit like when do you know you're done? Right. You can go. Right. And go. I need um, just a little dark things down here. Like um, I think this yarn had some dark bits to it. So that's some hand spun. Yeah.
do I have any? This is the only mulberry silk I have, I guess. I'm gonna cut it because it's so mm. stripy. Silk's tickling my nose. Well, you know what else I have is some moose moss. That'll be, mm. that'll be good too. So I'm just putting a little bit of this on top of the neps. My yarn is wool, so that'll that'll take care of itself. Where's Milo? <laughs> Milo's home. When will we see this wet felted? We're going <laughs> to wet felt it, As soon as right? I stop fussing with it, what time is it? 2.20. Okay, yeah, we should do that. I don't think they were saying stop. I think they were wondering <laughs> if we were actually going to wet felt it today. What else? Somebody tell me something that they see. Someone sees a do. giant orange red sea fan waving in the current, I think. I feel like this is maybe a little undone. I don't know, but we could just felt, see what happens. Let me pull it down and see. I feel like it's a little washed out. I want to get a little bit um, richer colors in here. Someone sees a blue lobster. Awesome. The dark heron looks like maybe sea snakes. What if we put this? Try and go in rogue here. This. Oh, rhino wrinkles would look like eels, Polly this. said. I feel like I have, uh, maybe I used all those little locks that were <laughs> more vivid. Oh, this is, um, like this is a piece of sari silk. Just like a piece of sari. So we could just cut that up, create a little randomness. Has all this texture been put on bubble wrap? The bubble wrap is on top of a towel, and then the pre-felt went on top of that, and then everything else got built on top of that. I don't know what I'm doing. Laura's saying chop and drop some bits of aqua and blue over the reflective inner curve for subtle yeah, texture. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get, like a little more pop here. I'm like, let me see what else I have in my bag of tricks. So. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm using this. I don't know what ooh. it is. What is that? I feel like I made that. Um, Flower. No? I don't know what that is. because I, I do want this to be on the smooth side. Don't ask me what this is. <laughs> it's a lot, it's a little it's bit of a, a lot. lot of, a lot of things. This is a fun part of painting is when you get to where you're not looking at specific colors anymore. You're pulling from a pile of puddles and putting them together. 
All right, so yeah, if you wouldn't mind getting me. Sure. I'm going to need a full oh, thing. Yeah. yeah. And I tea. have towels and I have um, soap. <clears throat> Go back to my wave picture. So cool. Yeah, I like that there's lightness in here, but I want this to be a little more um, vivid than just light. Yeah, I like that a lot. And then... Looking like a barbie. I did a little bit. <laughs> and then this might come down the channel a little bit, right in here, right where it's turning. Mm. Sorry, thanks, Kyla. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of my laptop here in one second. And I just do wanna sprinkle some naps around. <laughs> oh that looks cool. Does it? Good. That's the idea. That's the idea is that we achieve achieve coolness. Okay. A little splash. Bubbles. Yeah. Surface surface foam. I got some more naps, so I'm just gonna use them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think those will just get pushed in. Oh my gosh, this piece is massive. Do you see anything that like, probably need to put a little bit of wool over some of these silky things. It is massive. I'm gonna make a mess right now. All right, last chance. It looks really cool. Tell me do you what. See it? Do you have the uh, stream open that you can see it on the? Like I know oh, you can oh, see it on oh, the camera. Oh, good but idea. The lighting, the lighting. Good idea. On the stream is even better than what you can see on the camera. Except my workspace is a distracting <laughs> mess. <laughs> I don't know what that's about? Okay. All like right. That, I'm gonna. That looks so cool. I'm gonna get rid of this in a not neat way. Don't look. Those are gonna be somebody's wool bits someday. Spiffy bits. I know, this is what happens. This is how spiffy <gasps> bits were Oh, I just found this. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna end up with no dark coral left because I've
this could be cool. All right, we're going to stop. Coffee time. When, when you guys place orders, I try to guess what you're making. <laughs> like when I'm like, when I'm packing an order and I'm like, oh, that's pretty. That's an interesting choice. All right, we'll see how we do here. Experiment number 2,543. Oh, I forgot. I don't even know if my wall is gonna cover this. This is my favorite part. It's almost like a varnish. Yeah, it's when you get to see the image come out. <sighs> that was fun. The Green is the towel. Thank you for modeling that we never feel finished ever. Just one more bit. <laughs> I know. That's the thing about making videos is I do feel uh, under a time. You know what? I'm going to um, be smart once in a while. Turn it sideways. And turn it so that I can reach it. There we go. It's like a um, unboxing when you when you wet the wall. It's like that's the same like. Whew. So the water is warm with some Dawn in it, and Sarah's using the water sprinkler, and then the soap in your hand is the olive oil soap. People are just asking, what do mm -hmm. you have going on there? So at first, you know, you saw I put about half a pitcher. Uh, it's going to feel what's what. Definitely needs more water. But soapy hands helps your hands slip so that you don't, you know, smoosh, uh, smoosh fiber around. It's covered with a piece of wall that comes in the wet felting kit along with the bubble wrap. You can see where it's poofy air, that's where it needs more water. Oh, I think this is gonna be my favorite one. Yeah. Did I put silk on top of this white hanky? I mean, wool, I think I did. So you're not really agitating or doing not anything too much pressure yet. At all I'm just kind of pushing down to see where it needs more water. Some of the water will get pushed around, so I don't want to put too too much more water. But it will not felt where it's not yeah the nice and wet. Seem yeah, to end up needing more. I didn't know Oliver was here. Yeah. It's not unusual for Oliver to be so silent. Quiet. <laughs> so um, I would love to do. I would love to do um, a sculpting felt along with the Sculpey. Oh. It's super doable. Like, I think it would be a really good exercise um, to just sculpt. You know. And really look at stuff. Yeah and compare the mediums and 
um, the process and to give yourself, if you're not already sculpting with something else, to give yourself, um, you know, a different, a different medium to explore sculpture. And then that always comes back to your, your other medium. So I'll think of something the I've been, I did the, the torsos, which is nice because it's just about form. Um, so that, and I have practiced it now. So, um, but I only use the olive oil soap. You could do just Dawn works. Dawn, the olive oil soap is probably a little gentler on your hands than Dawn. I would I think. Know. Yeah, I don't know that for sure, but all right, I gotta get this far. Like Dawn's specifically a degreaser, right? Yeah. So. Have you tried the C O S clay? Cosplay. Cosplay. Um, I haven't, but I've heard a lot about it. I, for what I was doing, I specifically need the forms um, to bake hard. So, but yeah, it seems really, it seems really cool. All right, so now I have no, no air bubbles, or at least by the time I get the water moved around in here, there won't be any. And I can just start applying a little bit more pressure. You're at the pet the kitten stage. Oh, that's a nice <laughs> way to put it. Yeah, you don't want to be creepy, like, but you don't want to be aggressive either. It's like, um, the equivalent of speaking in a regular tone. Or a massage therapy. Versus whispering, which can get kind of creepy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, in massage therapy, this would be kind of wimpy, huh? I would feel like. So now I can tell, like my hands are slipping around on top of it and um, it's starting to kind of, you know, pull together in there. And I'm gonna check, ooh, I like the way that looks. I'm gonna check that my wall is not sticking in one second here. See, we just, we just add a little bit of Dawn to the water, like a tiny, I just use a tiny squirt. I use a generous squirt usually. Yeah. yeah. Jan, I guess, is a massage therapist. She oh, said wow. it's effleurage. Ooh. I love jargon. I like the way this is like builds to this. Well, I'm looking at it all soapy through the wall, but I think I'm going to like it. All right, I'm going to make sure my wall's not sticking and then I'm going to flip it around to make sure that I'm, cause I'm sure I'm working on the side closer to me more. So to do that, I want to find an edge and just start pulling it away. As we spin it around here, we can take a look. Kind of cool. Yeah, any soap in the water is fine. That looks very cool. Bye-bye.
able to speak. I brought out this fancy plate for my soap and I just stuck it on there. <laughs> better like it <laughs> this is what we call a big old thing oh I see all right so you could at this point check your work and see like if there's something you don't like or it got moved or you know you, it still at this point has some has some wiggle room oh I don't mind it I just this silk was getting a little a little crazy but It's the queen, cleanest wall in the world. <laughs> I like this too, this um, quiet spot. Mm -hmm. All right, Could you add more bits at this point if there was something you really... Um, you could. It's a little, little risky just in terms of, you know. It may not incorporate. Yeah. But I, you know what? I can't say that because I think there's a lot of wet felting processes that I don't fully understand and that you could. Mm -hmm. I like this um, blue silk that's in here. Is, remember that big swoop that we oh, did? Yeah. Laura said, yeah, just dry your hands first. This is very true. Don't be trying to add anything with wet hands. I was t teasing with Talbot, or maybe it was Audrey, like, if I have felting face. <laughs> when? <laughs> like, when you're concentrating on something and you're making faces that you don't, you know, don't realize. Or maybe we were talking about it in the live stream. Okay, time to roll. Mm. Yeah. Took my pole noodle apart. So I'm wrapping everything in the pull noodle. You do not want your towel in your roll up. Suck out all the water. <laughs> and then I'm wrapping the whole thing in a towel. I've sort of stopped using the ties. Um, you definitely could. Do you mind? All right, I just put it down here. All right, now you guys have to tell me stories. Well, I guess that really should work the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Okay. How do you so, know it's time to roll? Um, it's just like, you know, you worked it, you checked the wall, you worked it some more, like you can feel it coming together under your hands. Um, if other types of things, I might flip over and work from the backside, but this is too big and too complicated, so I'll just... I'll flip it after we've done two sides of this. And I would, you know, if you really want to be on the safe side, I would go a hundred times from each, from each side. I'm precisely at 36. I'm just kidding. Someone started with once upon a time, but <laughs> they're not, they're not continuing. Once with upon story. a time, we were saying, um, Talbot was saying it would be fun to make a timeline for Serafina, um, because a lot of times, especially when customers come in, they ask, you know, when did you move here and how long, right. you know. But I did start writing because part of the new website is going to be a new section of the blog, including the felting stories that you guys have been sending me and I've been asking for. So I thought I would kick it off um, oh, yeah. with my felting story. story, yeah. Which a lot of people have heard, but I'm trying to write it in a more you know, fun, like, thorough way. 
Your hair is lovely. It looks like you have a wave in it. I did. That's what I went for. Well, I started out with a swoop. <laughs> And then I felt like I looked too much like um, Snap, Crackle, or Pop, whichever one of the... Aww. Remember, he had hair. like a swoop. Yeah, you got to embrace the swoop. <laughs> Sometimes with short hair, like, you walk out of the house and you style and you're like, oh, I look cool. But, like, you don't realize an hour later that it doesn't look cool anymore. Are you leaning on that hard? I am putting a little pressure on. I don't know. I don't think it's it's not important to go fast, I don't think. But you do want a little pressure. Yeah. Um, I did an arm workout yesterday, so I'm feeling it. I did put um, the rocks and shells on here, which we had I told you guys about. Do you like, want me to roll while you show stuff? Mm, no, no. <laughs> I'd rather you read. And, and interact so it worked it worked pretty well i just took the face ace and the zoli tool and um and you know you know what worked really well is i used core and then i took locks like these like a natural colored lock and wrapped that around it and that took away the effort mm -hmm. like once again you know using the fiber to give the randomness um, so just tried to make different sizes. I went for more of a pebble than like a craggly rock kind of thing. And then sewed the shells on there, which works on that one. It needed, it needed a little something. So Bonnie <clears throat> is saying, this is the part that is physically hard for me. How long could I leave it in the towel and take a break? Oh, she you're fine. As long she's as 73 and wimpy. She's not wimpy if she's <laughs> starting these projects. Um, you know, you just want to, uh, you just want to make sure it's still wet. Mm -hmm. What did I just do? I didn't, I shouldn't have turned that. So let's just check it here. Give it a little check. Is all that yarn your hand spun or did you get it from? Um, it's hand spun from various places. This is actually not my hand spun. Uh, the stories are not on the Serafina site yet. On the new site, I don't know if we'll have it when we launch the new site, but soon after at least there will be a, a, new, a new blog section. Okay, so one thing I just saw in the overhead camera. The surface of water, I mean not this because this isn't the water surface, but the surface of water is always perfectly horizontal. So for this to indicate the water surface, I had to scoot those neps up because they were cause they were swooping down here. And so that doesn't make sense to your brain because your brain wants to see um, a horizontal line. So if you're ever painting water or doing a, you know, a lake or whatever, make sure it, that is straight because Ooh, I, I really like this. Mm -hmm. I'm glad we went for the, whoops, that's not the wall, the double. If someone really has a hard time with um, wrapping it all up and rolling, mm -hmm. does the sander take care of this step. I've not. never done the sander entirely, but I think it does. I mean, I've heard um, Joyce say that she's felt it entire things with just the sander. Okay. So power tool it. Yeah. What time is it? 2.49. Okay. We might... Um, <clears throat> I just stop at three and because <coughs> excuse me i mean i could i'll be close to done by then but yeah there's not much more that they're going to be able to see you know with it wet versus we'll just have to follow up with some pictures and stuff i think when we launch the new blog we'll it would probably be featured in a newsletter so people know to oh yeah absolutely you guys will it. hear about everything yeah, the palm washboard, too. Okay. So, 
I'll flip it over now. Okay. Oh my goodness, that's super cool. I should have put a few more um, bits of yarn. These are st standing out a little bit, or maybe they'll just come off. I don't know. Oh my gosh, the octopus cracks me up. That was a lot to lay out. That was fun. Yeah. It's it definitely with the wet felting like this, it's more of a demo because we're not all doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. And it's more to see like the process and less of a tutorial or. So when you roll, you don't have to do 360 roll. You're going to end up doing it four times. I'm doing in the 360. Four yeah. yeah. But in halfway in between, you're flipping it. I flipped it onto its face. So 50% face up, 50% face down, 360. Kyla's been working really hard on the website. Talbot's been working really hard on everything. <laughs> Sarah, your hands are very delicate looking. Who said that? Stacy Smith. Stacy, you get something special. <laughs> you work it, baby. Now you're getting some encouragement. <laughs> They could help you. I'm okay. I'm doing all right. I offered. <laughs> I'm just sitting over here on the side. <laughs> what? I just looked at myself on the camera and I feel like I look like my dad's mom, my grandma, when she was, when she would get this big piece of plywood out and put it on the kitchen table when she made pasta. Oh, okay. And I just have memories of her, Aww. you know, kneading dough and rolling dough and... A uh, beginner question, don't laugh. How would you get rid of, how do you get rid of the bubble wrap pattern? Oh, it just goes away. When you, when you rinse it, yeah. um, you kind of like, you get aggressive with it. And um, and it's it's gone. Tammy, the rocks. Yes, the rocks over on that ocean piece are felted. Just needle felted. Needle. Are they needle felted on, or did you stitch them on? Um, I needle felted them oh, on. Okay. Cool. But the shells are stitched on. Yeah. <gasps> what did I do? Um, oh, I how? Might you display this piece? A few people are wondering. I know that is the that Good is the question. question. I think wouldn't it be really cool um, with a piece of driftwood at the top, mm. and then just hanging from that with some some sea jute. <laughs> <laughs> I just made that up. I don't know. If there's such a thing. Find yourself some some netting. I feel like I just did something wrong. This feels different. If I make two smaller pieces, can I roll them next to each other in the same towel? Yes. Yeah, we, we do a lot of projects like the dragon. We do all the different skin parts on the same bubble wrap. Flowers, lots of things. Trish has been collecting driftwood. Perfect. All right, 
I know that wasn't a hundred times that way. None of them were actually, but let's check it. Oh my gosh, it weighs like a gazillion pounds. It's like wet felting that stinking ugly tree skirt that I made. <laughs> it's good, I think it's good. I mean, I could always go more. You wanna do one? Sure. You can stand there. I'll sit down with my coffee. <laughs> I'm now commenting as Kyla. <laughs> oh, no. I'm commenting as Serafina Fiber Art. Yes, we confuse people because Talbot also <laughs> commented. And they're like, wait, who's saying what? <laughs> the driftwood box. Oh, it's nice to see it on the camera. Well, yeah, it looks really Very good. Very cool. How many rolls do you want? Just whatever. Let's just do another couple minutes. <laughs> oh, Bonnie, we have the gen the gentle roller, but like I have not gotten used to the technique of loading it. Yeah. So there's no bubble wrap. I, you have this plastic. I like, I don't trust it yet. And I need to just start using it. Right. So that I learn to trust it. I really could have used it when I made the, um, I recently made a snow leopard pelt and, um, man, I shrunk the heck out of it in the, in the washing machine. So yes, I need to, um, everyone says how lovely you look. Oh, thank you. So you match the towel. Oh. And your hair matches the, the <laughs> it's all planned. The golden vessels behind you. <laughs> Did you see that, Talbot? Cherie says the sound is fab today. It's even <laughs> picking up the plastic crinkle. Gosh, you got a tailor made comment. I got the tailor made hand comment. The plastic. <laughs> Ooh, my coffee is cold. Is that a good thing? No. No. I like my hot drinks piping hot. I like our little setup today. I just noticed the figure is up behind. Yeah. The butts. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's safe for you too. I know. Oh no. No, he won't take it down. Oh my gosh. How bad would that be? We'd have to we'd have to put little X's over them or something. <laughs> That's probably good, right? Well, I feel like it's I feel like I should go another direction okay. now. I don't know. It shrunk a little for sure. Yeah, it shrunk a little. Let me go this way one time. Okay. I did not bake it yet, Trish. I'm still, I'm still. They look really tweaking, cool. Tweaking them. So Kasha asked, how do we wash it after? So the next thing we'll do um, is take this back to our sink and like I said, handle it kind of roughly, like you can crinkle it up, um, you can sort of throw it. And what that does is like activates a lot of the, the locking together and the neps and the curls to get their texture. And I will rinse it under hot water um, and then cold water and then hot water and then cold water. And then I will um, uh, put it in the salad spinner. But if you don't have a salad spinner, just squeeze it out, roll it in a towel, get as much moisture out as you can, and then put it outside. The smacking really makes the silk crinkle up too. Yeah. Polly, I do use my um, coffee warmer for my coffee, and that is a good invention. Um, I use I've been using it for swax forever, and like always like lamenting that my tea is not hot or cold, and I was like, oh. This is actually use your a coffee warmer. Use, use your mug warmer. 
So the reason that we come at it from different sides is because it, when you roll it, it will felt in that direction. So it, oh wow, it's looking really cool. Yeah, okay, cool. do you want me to go rinse it or do you want to go rinse it? What would, what would you prefer? Do you like the rinsing? No, you can do it. Right. But make sure you put those gloves on because the water is super hot. Super hot. Yeah, just take that whole thing. All right. Looks very cool. All right, so I'm going to chat with you guys for a couple minutes. Kyla's going to rinse. Then we'll be able to at least hold up the finished piece. And then um, we will adios you. Send you into your the rest of your weekend. on what you're doing I guess like when I felt the when I wet felt the skins for um, I'll pull this in a little bit for like rhino or dragon I don't want them to be super duper felted because I, I can't further felt um, how's that Talbot? okay um, but if you're felting slippers you know you can underfelt like you want them to be really well felted. So just a, a finishing that. And there's also a process called fulling, which is when you're, you're taking the felt and starting to define a shape in it. Um, so like when people make hats and slippers and, or even flat, you can full it by, by really like rubbing it between your hands. Um, so there's all different, degrees to which you want your piece finished you might lose a little texture i guess if you if you felt it felt it to death um what else what other questions do you guys have uh, someone asked if there's any new news yeah let's see okay so we're working on the website switch and that will come to you with a newsletter explanation of how to regenerate your account. You would still have your account, but it just requires a new, um, you know, sort of creating the, I can't remember if it's just the password or, but the information is there. Your information will be there. Um, the pony is filmed, the kits are ready. So that will come out. So if that's not a project you've done yet, definitely just hang on for another, another uh, week or so that'll be ready and or maybe even sooner. And um, it's really some really good updates. And if you have done it, it would be fun to at least revisit it. If you don't need the supply pack, um, watch, watch the tutorial. The pony was like a super early tutorial. So there was a lot of room for improvement. Um, so we had fun with that. Um, I think, you know, just given where my inspiration and energy is going, that the female figure will probably be the next advanced tutorial. It will take quite a while um, because these, the advanced tutorials just take a long time to film, to edit, to put the course together, create all the course material. But I'm, I'm really excited about it. We have this sale July 25th, Christmas in July. I, I believe it's, I don't want to misstate, I believe it's 20% off. It is. Yeah. And then we will look to a fiber fairy in August. And then after that, there'll probably only be one more fiber fairy in the fall because we have the um, cyber, you know, the, the Thanksgiving ish day sale and then the end of the year sale. Um, so. People are requesting to see the uh, ocean up close. So if you put that. Okay, put that. Down, down. Then I can do the overhead. Okay, everyone's gonna see my ugly um, easel. All right, let's see here. Yeah, so the shelves are sewn on. I had, some of them naturally had holes in them and Jenny brought in her Dremel with a little diamond drill bit 
and we drew, she helped me drill some holes in them and then I drilled some holes and I gotta tell you I did not like that it's like it's like you're the dentist I didn't like it at all so I will not probably be <laughs> doing more of that um and yeah the rocks like I said I just made I just took core wool used my tools wrapped and put the random locks around them Sweet. I'll put it down first and then I'll hold it up. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. So that looks cool. Gosh, you guys can see almost the whole thing in the overhead now. It might be the better way to see it. It's very colorful. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like the way that, I like the way this, I really like this area. And I like this area. Very cool. All right, when Kyla comes back, I will say goodbye unless there's any more questions. Did anything, okay, so my yarn, my blue yarn, like one of them didn't stick. This one's kind of willy-nilly. Um, I could I could roll it up and just kind of like sew a few dark pieces on there. Um, but. One of the yarns fell Yeah, off. yeah, I know, that's Did what I was just saying. Did you want to put it on this just to show shrinkage? Nah, it's fine. Oh, it looks really cool on there. Yeah, it does look cool. So cool. Yeah, and these didn't stick because that that's just like silk with no no stick, this little this little guy. But the neps are good, the other silk is good, the locks are good. <laughs> My octopus is good. You guys can see it, it's like a little blue thing. Yeah, it looks really good. <laughs> Very neat. You want to come in and say goodbye with me? Sure. I think I got a little wet. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you. I had a really good time. I was looking looking forward to that for a long time, and that was fun. There's so much to look at. No, I can't wait to see what you guys make as usual. So make sure to share it on Fanfare, and um, have fun with it. You know, like just really. Don't sweat it. Don't overthink it. I like really I like that cobalt yeah, really hanky cool. in there. All right. We good? Any questions, Talbot? <laughs>